what is mitral valve disease? The mitral valve is the valve between the pumping chamber and the upper collecting chamber. So you think there's the atrium, below is the pumping chamber, the ventricle, it's where the red blood is. That mitral valve allows blood to go through from the atrium to the ventricle. And then it come up and catches and closes. It's a one-way valve. Two things can happen to that valve. One, less commonly is it gets narrowed. If we take our fingers and go like this, that's how big your mitral valve should be. Obviously, it can narrow down. We call that mitral stenosis. The more important thing is when the valve leaks. You can imagine blood goes through, but the valve doesn't catch or it lets blood go backwards. Suddenly, not only the heart is pushing forward, but the heart is also pushing backwards. That's what we see more commonly, mitral regurgitation. There's many different types of mitral valve patients. There are some patients who are better fit for a transcatheter solution. And so we have a very big team of cardiologists and surgeons. We work very much together, the Matrix team here at the university. So the Matrix team is a team that's been around for about four to five years now. It stands for Mitral and Tricuspid Interventions. It's a transcatheter-based program where we're able to offer different procedures to patients who otherwise um, may not have been a candidate because they're either too sick or they've had too many operations in the past. So the Matrix is built of many people, all from different disciplines coming in, really a patient-centric, patient-focused aspect to it. There's surgeons on that, cardiologists, nurses, so on who work together trying to get the best option for that patient. The thing to be very clear about it is when you come to the University of Michigan, to the Matrix program, to the Mitral program, you will have something customized to you. All of our patients are different. All of them are unique. All their mitral valve and tricuspid valve disease is different. And so there isn't really a standardized care. For patients who we think are best served with transcatheter, mitral clip is a very good option for these patients. And we're doing more and more mitral clips. You will see that being the forefront of a whole army of transcatheter therapies. Mitral clip is now, we've moved from replacing a valve to repairing a valve. It's a repair procedure. So if there is a part of a leaflet that's prolapsing or not coming together, we can now percutaneously stitch them together and minimize the amount of leak that goes from the bottom chamber to the top chamber. Obviously, among the many options we have here for patients, both surgical and transcatheter, we run many trials of new devices, new things, new techniques. We're at the forefront. Apollo is a research protocol with a IRB-based protocol, which is a government-approved study funded by Medtronic, and it is a valve replacement. Classically, it has always been an open-heart procedure. Now there are different technologies that allow us to do this percutaneously or through a small incision in the apex of the heart. Those guiding cords that put that Roman arch, that keystone together, sometimes can break and the valve lets loose, you have regurgitation. But now there's a trial of maybe we can do it through a very small incision here, go up through the pointy end of the heart, hook the leaflet, and without going on the heart-lung machine, without opening your chest, fix that by replacing a cord. We have felt that we do a better service to our patients and the community in general if we, are, if we approach patients' conditions in a, in a team approach. Remembering that the patient is the leader of the team. Ultimately, it is their decision what they want to do. We give them all the options that are good, viable options for them, and then from there, the patient and their families get to make the decision together. I get to take them through that entire process. So we start at the first clinic visit, they meet the cardiac surgeon, they meet the cardiologist, they sit down with myself, they'll sit down with our nurse practitioner, and we're really able to customize a plan for each individual patient. It's a really great way to approach a team like this because it's very cohesive and it's very smooth for the patient. Patients often say that they don't feel like they're jumping around from provider to provider, which is really great for them. Not only do we make an evaluation together, but we present to a multi-specialty group practice where there's an echo specialist, an imaging specialist from our radiology department, anesthesia, our nurse practitioners and nurses, and the whole team of physicians and staff who work together. We're really going to sort of look at all the scenarios of how we're going to treat a condition, but not only how we treat it, we also take into consideration potential complications and have strategies for every potential complications. And then, once the procedure starts, 
we know the path we're in, but we also, being jazz musicians, not sheet music, we know how to improvise. And so when you see me, you're not, you're not getting my opinion, you're getting the opinion of a team. And that's the Michigan difference. Nobody comes here for a procedure. They come to us to be taken care of. And so I think that's something that we really keep in mind with all of our patients. And so for them to have a constant uh, point of contact throughout this whole process. I've had the opportunity of working in facilities all over the country and really seeing the way that this team works together, the respect that's there for every individual, the way that all the ideas are valued and shared and that it's all centered around the patient really sets it apart from any other program I've worked for.